This is a truly amazing book, beautifully written about a man, Morris Wilson. It's actually written by Dennis Roberts. It's beautifully written. It tells the story of a man, Morris Wilson, an Englishman, who decided to fly a plane from England to the foot of Mount Everest, crash lander, and then climb Everest by himself. I'm talking about the 1930s. Everest had not been climbed. It wouldn't be climbed until about 20 years later by Sir Edmund Hillary with a huge team. But Morris Wilson, aged about 38, didn't know how to fly a plane, took flying lessons, flew a tiger moth by himself, open air, and flew all the way from England to India about 5,000 miles. Remember, there's no air control then to guide you, just using a compass. One way or another, he managed to get there. And then he decided he was going to climb Everest. He had no mountaineering experience. He didn't even know how to put crampons on. He'd just take, done some climbing amongst the hills or mountains of England. Had no mountaineering experience at all. And he got within 8,000 feet of the top of Everest. Can you believe it? And then, of course, the inevitable, he died. The final pages of the book state, he failed to conquer Everest, but he never failed himself or mankind or his ideal. So it's actually a book of great determination and idealism. You could say he was crazy. It's easy to say that. You could say he was reckless. It's easy to say that or foolish. But he certainly had determination. Nothing was going to stand in his way. It's a wonderful book. I recommend you get a hold of it and read it. It's beautifully written about an incredibly courageous man, Morris Wilson.